good morning to all in this series interface protocol we are going to discuss the wishbone interface today so it is a part 2 initially we see in the part 1 where the latex memory map interface we saw so we the wishbone interface uh, is a uh, open source and most of the people are using this uh, wishbone interface on their uh, uh, chip platform like uh, ASIC FPGA so it is very easy to uh, implement this interface and it is having so much popularity on the internet so we s begin with this uh, interface uh, let's check the what connections uh, we can have with this wishbone so the case where the mu multiple masters are there multiple slaves are there then we need some uh, cross or switch interconnections so it is a interconnect we can correlate it with the axi so next connections is uh, uh, data flow interconnections uh, let's say there are multiple ips are there and they want to communicate so we can use this kind of uh, so in that let's say IPs are there and there there is a slave uh, cascade arrangement for the same the data flow direction is shown from left to right so there there will be one uh, point to point on chip or off chip interconnection can be possible with this uh, wishbone interface as seen the master slave configuration master slave configuration on the off chip ic1 ic2 S and there can be the shared bus interconnection uh, which is star connection we can say so on the same bus it it has slaves and master connected with the addressing or uh, we can say that the uh, user defined IDs we can differentiate and we can have the which uh, master is coming into which uh, slave like that so in the simplest form we can understand the wishbone uh, signaling with the help of the slave port we can consider this uh, IO port uh, if you remember the 8255 or 8155 uh, IO port uh, uh, chip uh, in the series of uh, Intel 8085 so it is a similar connection you can found there will be the one output port maybe 8 bit 16 whatever size you want and the chips uh, chip enable can be c uh, generated using the uh, strobe and W signals so reset and clock is always there so to have the acknowledge output to the master interface we just loop back the strobes i to acknowledge out okay a simple uh, register write or read so to ex uh, to get the understanding of this uh, signaling of the wishbone we can have this examples like uh, io port and memory examples we earlier saw this diagram it is a similar version okay so it is a 16 bit we can take this uh, 16 or what whatever the size we need it is simple uh, chip chip enable generation using strobe and w and look back the acknowledge with the stroke so if there is a multiple uh, IO ports if there then the selection how we can select so there there will be an encoder for the selection of chip we can have the select 0 and select 1 for the selection of the multiple IO ports so for the memory interface for the reference I draw some uh, I put some diagrams for the RAM and ROM so it is very, uh, let's say for the write and read signals, uh, we have to put the address. So we have to put the address 
then we have to put the data and then we have to assign we okay this is right for the read only the change is that we, have, we kept the we low and we get the output from the memory okay for the rom just we have to put the address it will give the data it is a uh, asynchronous because there is no clock uh, in s in this interface with this reference we can understand what the memory interface for the wish port so we consider some uh, stack of ramps okay so for the selection of the uh, particular memory segment for that we are using the address lines and the w signal is a common to all so differentiation between these ram stacks will depend on this address so it's look to be very uh, easy to understand if you got a point from this earlier di uh, discussion so in practical way maybe there is some uh, name naming of the address and data will be different but in uh, uh, logically obvious there will be a clock and reset and address lines logically there will be clock uh, reset and clock then address data out sorry data in data out then there is a read or write signals then strobe select lines acknowledge which is loop back of this uh, strobe and this is a uh, clock uh, sorry bus cycle uh, definition we will see what kind of uh, cycles we can have with this wish point and these are the user defined so this may be the point to point or maybe whatever the uh, structure we already seen is like uh, data flow or uh, star connections or uh, crossbar with okay so to understand the read signal with their signal uh, naming i just put a one memory here it is for the read so obvious w e should be low which is connected to the w e of the ram and we know that the uh, strobe can be looped back to the acknowledge okay and cycle type can be defined by this but for this in interface we don't need this one but in general for read cycle we can have these things so we have to put the address for the read we can get the data from the memory back to the data i and simple we have to put the w and once this is uh, active once the clock uh, arrives it will give the the data at that particular address location so it is very simple to understand for the write process it is a similar thing okay only the change is that the the we will be one and the we are not taking the data we are sending the data so we are connecting the data out to the data in of the memory and this will be the loop back arrangement for the acknowledgement this can be seen later on in the further slides so the cycle type may be uh, one of them like uh, so it is similar or we can uh, correlate with the xi uh, bus type uh, in this uh, there is a uh, three bits for the definition of this uh, bus type the classic cycle constant address incrementing brush cycles and the end of the brush so the classic bus cycle type may be block read block write then read modified write so uh, i just put one interface uh, from master to slave uh, signaling waveforms so at a slave side i just connect to memory as we seen from this w these are the two writes and these are the two reads signals these are the all 
we can consider to be one signal for the write and read so we have to put the address on the address lines for the write process we have to put the uh, some data on this ABCD and at location 1 it will store 10 and at location 12 we are storing the 1 2 3 4 this is a simple three signals this is the right process address we are given data we are given and as you know this acknowledge is nothing but the loop back of the strobe which will be the same okay so from these signals we create write and read signals which can be seen here okay this is a write signal this is a read signal and this is memory address data in and data out so in memory the memory address which can be seen the same looking at their 10 and 12 okay and for the right data there will be the ABCD and 1 2 3 at these locations okay when we are going for the read operations we place the same address 10 and 12 and we get the same data that we return a b c d and one two three so in this way we can analyze the signaling of the wishbone uh, in next continuation part uh, we try our best to have code for the wishbone slave and the master uh, and we try to simulate on the i very log and the vcs so for now thank you and please subscribe my channel and make any comment if you want or if uh, some uh, suggestion is there you can make it that and please hit like buttons so in the this kind of uh, series you know, uh, viewers are very less so uh, please subscribe my channel so that I can motivate to make some more videos like this thank you and definitely we we are going to uh, continue this uh, wishbone interface in a practical way with coding and simulation so be stay with me thank you